Earlier, we were working on a program called Assign, which uh, assigned the value Henry to a variable called Username, and then we outputted that value. Let's add an age for Henry. So let's add another assignment symbol. I'll try it right here. And we'll specify a new variable. I could call it user age, but I'm going to settle on just age. And I'm going to give Henry the age of 19. Notice, please, numeric data is not enclosed in quotes. The string data, Henry's age, or pardon me, Henry's name, had to be enclosed in quotes. Character type data must be inside quotes. Numeric data, do not put it inside quotes. Okay, this specifies uh, an age of 19. Now let's let's uh, output that. I'll try an output statement right here, and we'll output that age variable. Let's give that a run. See how it works. And you can see we got our two two pieces of output the name followed by the age. All right, that's not very good output. Let's make it a little bit better. We can improve upon it and add an important concept, the concept called concatenation. In order to get that going, I'm going to delete this one by right-clicking and selecting delete. And I'm going to modify this one. I'm going to modify the output. And instead of just specifying the age, I'm going to try inserting a string here the user's a, 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 pardon me, age is, close my string, put a plus sign after the string, and then the variable name age. So take a look at this, please. This is very important. We've got a string inside quotes followed by a variable name. We must have the concatenation operator plus sign between the two items. Notice, too, that I have put a single space after the word is. That's to space this out properly. Otherwise, the, the age is going to jam up against the, the uh, word is in my output. So I think this is going to work OK. Let's give it a try. We'll give it a run. And there's our output. User's age is 19. We've concatenated successfully. We've successfully added the age onto the string and outputted it. Let's clear that up, and uh, we could add another output for the name. And we'll do this the same same type of uh, uh, value. Actually, we'll specify the user's name is close our quote plus, and then the value of the variable username. Now, if I don't get that right, Raptor will let you know. You have to spell the name, the variable name exactly right, or you'll have a problem. But Raptor will help you out with that. Let's run that. Okay, looks fine. We've got both our pieces of output. We're successfully concatenating. We can do something else to make it possibly even better, or something new. Let's try one more output statement right here. After the last one, we'll insert yet another output statement. And for this one, we'll get real fancy. We'll output the name and the age in one line. To do so, we'll specify the username variable. You don't have to start with a string. You can start with a variable. As long as you follow that with the concatenation operator, then you can follow that with a string. I'm going to try the string is and then another concatenation operator, plus sign, and the, the user's age. This isn't going to work quite right, but I want you to see what happens with this uh, specification for output. Here's the run. No, not very good. Look, it's jammed the age and the name up against the word is. Not so good. We can fix it, though, relatively easily. I'm going to clear that. And all we have to do is modify this and make sure that we insert spaces around our word is, but inside the string. Whatever you put inside the string will output exactly as you specify it. Now when we run it, we'll get the output that we want properly spaced out. That's concatenation. 